My name is David Watts from Lenovo Press, and I have with me today Tom Boucher from Emulex. Hello. Um, and we are here today to talk about the uh, Emulex OCE 14000 family adapters uh, from Emulex. These are the Ethernet and CNA adapters. Yep. All right. Um, so what have we got here, Tom? So what we've got here is a two-port 10 gig version of, in the PCIe form factor. And then we have a four-port 10 gig version here in the new uh, ThinkServer AnyFabric form factor that we're going to talk about today. Now these are, these are the Ethernet versions? Yes. The, right? So these are 10 gig Ethernet. Um, either this one's a, a network interface card, and then this one's a converged network adapter. Right. And we have, there's also a 40 gig variant as well, right? right? We have a 40 gig uh, PCIe version. Yep. and then a two-port any fabric as well. Right, right, right. And there are also CNAs that um, support FCOE and iSCSI standard, right? C correct. Yep. And then if you're familiar with our System X and Flex server products, this is this equivalent to the Virtual Fabric Adapter 5. Right, yes, okay. Now these, uh, these ones here, these are the any fabric form factor. Yes. Uh, what's so special about these? So the AnyFabric form factor is unique to the Think Server line, and what it is is it gives you a uh, onboard way of putting in an adapter without consuming a PCI slot at a lower cost than a traditional PCI card would cost. All right. Um, we have. Well, we have. So we've got this is the Think Server RD650. So um, let's put the adapters into sure. the machine and we can show how they how so they fit in. This is just the standard riser card that comes with the server that holds the PCI slots. This is just kind of yeah, a quarter sure turn first, and yeah. pulls loose. So if you wanted to put a PCIe adapter in, you would just pop that out, uh, flip the little uh, connector up and uh, install the adapter just like you would any other uh, PCI So it's a card. PCIe by 8 connector? Yes, is that right? it's a by 8, by eight PCIe adapter. PCIe 3. PCIe Gen 3. Yep. Um, so that's simple PCIe adapter install. Yep. But if you were doing the AnyFabric module, uh, they come standard with just the copper connectors. You can get an option kit that gives you an optic if you want an optical connection and just install it as many as you need on the adapter. Remove the and then uh, you just remove EM the shield. little EM shield that comes in the server. Yep. The card slides straight in on the system board. It kind of snaps in and then you just kind of tighten it up here and off you go. You've got uh, your Ethernet installed. Right. So the RD650 has eight standard PCIe slots, so three on this riser card three on the riser card that would fit here, and then one, two, one, two, three um, uh, adapters as well. Correct. And then, in addition then, is the any fabric slot at the bottom there. Right. So it really gives you an extra slot. Yeah, I mean, this would make a great you know, vSAN node or a VMware node. Uh, right. uh, plenty of I.O. for uh, multiple VMs on it, and uh, you can do yeah. multiple types of fabrics here. Yep, all right. So um, now what are the features of of these, these adapters, the OC14000? So we have uh, two, two, two types of adapters. Uh, there's the NIC version, which uh, has uh, uh, three features on it, and then the CNAs have five features on it. So the, the NIC versions come with a, a, virtual, fa a, virtual, a virtual network mode, uh, similar to what we do with the uh, System X product line, but it only has what's the equivalent of switch independent mode. So if you're familiar with the virtual fabric family of adapters that we use on the Flex system and System X, they have a couple different types of what they call VNIC. On the Think Server line, it's referred to as UMC or Universal Multi-Channel, and it just gives you uh, same functionality as switch independent mode on so that's, System So that's, that's VNIC yeah. 2 in yes, the old, right, old parlance. Right, right. VNIC 2. Yeah. And then if we have the, the same new features that we added on VFA5 or on this family. So we have what's called the Rocky or RDMA over converged Ethernet. If you have a customer using Windows 2012, uh, they have a new feature called SMB Direct that takes advantage of that. Or uh, the other feature is a overlay networking offload engine. And what that's for is for like VMware, we have something called VXLAN, which is a scalable layer two network. Or uh, on uh, Windows Hyper-V, there's something called, it really rolls off the tongue, uh, NVGRE. And uh, that's a similar way of doing it where you can have a scalable multi-tenant uh, layer two network. And since it changes the type of Ethernet frames that come in, you need a new offload engine to give better performance to the server by letting the adapter handle the heavy load. So load. those are good overlay networks for, for cloud applications yes. in particular, right? Right. right. Yep. Right. Now you said that the, the CNAs have two additional uh, um, over, uh, Offload engines, right, right? Right, So the CNAs add some storage capabilities. That's where the C comes from for converged. We have both an iSCSI offload engine as well as a fiber channel over Ethernet offload engine in the cards. Um, you know, pretty much straight, straightforward. You can run one or the other or both if you, if you want on the adapters. Um, most, most 
and customers would pick one or the other. They don't usually run both, uh, but right. uh, it's there. But you, if you, could, you could if you really wanted to. If you to. wanted to be yeah. crazy enough and see yeah. how many protocols you can shove through one card, <laughs> you can go right ahead. Yeah, okay. Yep. Now, these adapters um, have common software, right? Common yes. management software, they want to connect? Regardless of the speed or number of ports that you get, they all use the same device driver for their network card functions or for the fiber channel or iSCSI functions. So if you have a 40 gig card or a 10 gig card, they're going to use the same device drivers uh, across the platform. Uh, regardless of it being an any fabric or PCIe card, so it's common across those. And then we go a step further with our management software called One Command, and One Command will manage Think Server products, but it will also manage the Flex Server and the System X products as well, all from the same interface. So uh, if you have an end user that was a, a System X client before and they're looking at Think, Think Server products, they can use both and manage them both the same way, regardless if right. it's a virtual fabric adapter or the OCE 14000 family. Now, the, these adapters um, share the same driver as the fiber channel adapters, the yes. MLX fiber channel adapters, right. right? So if we're doing fiber channel over Ethernet, uh, over whether it's, again, 10 gig or 40 gig, it would also do it the same on our fiber channel cards, the 16 gig or the advanced 8 gig cards that are available for the server as well. So it makes it for an easier easier yeah. um, load, yeah, one, operating system load. Yes, one control panel, uh, one plug-in for VMware or however, whatever else OS you're running on these uh, right. from that. All right. Well, very good. Well, there you have it. So these are the Emulex OCE 14000 uh, um, family adapters, uh, Emulex, uh, sorry, Ethernet and CNAs yes. um, for Think Server systems. This is the Think Server RD650. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.